hey everyone uh, this is uh, the answer for the question that i have uploaded before uh, in youtube that was uh, of a five year old child who presented with a high grade fever chills and rigor for the past uh, one week with waxing and waning and uh, petrosmia was given and it was told to give a diagnosis and this case is actually that of a plasmodium falciparum malaria and we'll see that in this smear shortly so when you go into the high power what you see is that uh, this is the gametocyte which is the kind of banana shaped uh, gametocyte that you see sometimes uh, people say it's bot kind of shape but uh, uh, you can see that this is the banana shaped gametocyte and if you see in the right side you can still see that rbc remnant rbc membrane uh, if you really look closely you can see that remnant rbc membrane and uh, that is because the parasite has uh, parasitized the RBCs and has uh, and is growing in that and the and uh, using the hemoglobin and uh, other nutrients in the RBC as its nutrients and the RBC membrane is still a little bit intact there you can see it as a circle around the gametocyte so that is a gametocyte of uh, plasmodium falciparum now we'll see a little bit of other things here uh, this is a neutrophil this is an eosinophil uh, this is a platelet but a little bit big uh, than the normal so this patient has uh, uh, yeah this is the this is a, if you look at it it is a little bit more it has a more of a bluish tinge than the surrounding rbc's so that is a polychromatic rbc uh, it looks a little bit of a tear shaped but uh, that is not the relevant thing the relevance is that it is a polychromatic rbc that is uh, there is rbc destruction occurring and uh, new rbc's are being produced as uh, um, as a result of that uh, to compensate for it so if you look into this you can see that there is a ring form inside the rbc that is the ring stage of uh, uh, the ring stage of the uh, falciparum malaria there is a red dot and um, and a blue ring i don't know how much you can appreciate that but uh, it is seen and uh, if you want to see the magnified image you can see in the right uh, lower corner that uh, inset where you can see a little bit more of a magnified image so that is the this is the lymphocyte so there's a lymphocyte there and looks like there is a kind of thrombocytopenia the platelets uh, appear to be a little bit reduced uh, but there are see one two three here so not much of it but because you can see platelets here and there one two uh, three so you can't really say it's completely thrombocytopenia because uh, how you say a, plate, a thrombocytopenia in case of platelet is um, like if you see an oil power field if you have if you see 8 to 24 platelets in oil field uh, that is adequate but this is uh, actually 40x not an oil power here again you can see an rbc infected with a, a ring form of the parasite and here very interesting you can see the ring form is near the membrane almost attached to the rbc membrane so that is kind of an acoli form of the parasite here again you can see the ring forms the thing about um, uh, falciparum is that uh, the uh, single rbc can be infected by multiple uh, parasites so you can see multiple rings in a single rbc which is otherwise not seen in the other cases like uh, yvax and all that for the yvax video i'll put a link down uh, you can see that in case of yvax the rbcs will be enlarging but in case of falciparum the rbc size as such is not enlarged the infected rbc the size of the rbc as such is not enlarged so that is one one difference that you can uh, see from the falciparum and uh, and uh, yvax and also in, in case of yvax um, the ring uh, we can see many forms of the uh, or parasite inside the smear that is you can see the ring form you can see the amoeboid uh, trophozoite uh, and uh, all kinds of forms can be seen you can see the male and the female gametocytes you can see uh, schizont but in case of uh, falciparum mostly only ring forms and uh, the gametocytes are seen in the smear 
Also, another difference is that um, in uh, falciparum, all the RBCs get affected, but um, in vivax, only the only one stage of the RBCs get uh, affected. So that is why the severity is more in falciparum uh, malaria. So I think that will be enough for the for understanding this case. Uh, in the initial video, more fields were um, were uh, shown, and I think you can go back and and look for yourselves. Basic thing is to see the gametocyte and the ring forms in this in the case of this smear, and uh, also the polychromatic cells you can see uh, here and there. And um, uh, as for the Yvax blood findings in palsif uh, in a, uh, in a Plasmodium Yvax, uh, I I'll put a link down uh, for previous video. Uh, I think the audio quality won't be that great because it was recorded some three years back, three to four years back. But still, uh, it has most of the forms uh, of the YVAC shown in it. So I think that's it. So this is a case of a uh, falciparum, uh, plasmodium falciparum infection, uh, plas falciparum malaria, and uh, this is a very serious, in the most serious kind of malaria that you can set. And uh, this falciparum can even cause cerebral cerebral malaria. Okay, that's it. Thank you.